Before going into this video, let's explain exactly what Mori is. Mori, or aliasing, is the weird patterns that you get which are false, which aren't real, when a camera is not quite able to get the detail in the image. Here is examples of Mori from, uh, from part of this video, but it's only showing you how potentially bad it can be. Where is most notable is on the roofs, where it's got these stripy patterns and it looks like a zebra. Now an image with no mori is this one. Here you can see it looks sharp, you can almost distinguish every single tile and the lines between them have no problem. So to get the best out of this video, please watch it in the full 1080p and on a screen which can show 1080p. Okay, so now let's begin. So here we are with a slightly higher contrast setting here um, for checking out the Mori patterns. So she's in f8, hundredth of a second, 60 frames a second, um, at looks like it's ISO 64. If you look at the roofs, or the tiles of the roofs of the buildings. I'm just going to add a quick freeze frame here because I want to make sure that all of you if you're reviewing this, make sure you're watching this at the full 1080p and also on a monitor which is showing it at its full 1080p. You'll hear me in this video saying that, oh, it looks like there's some aliasing going on. However, that's just on the back of the screen of my camera and I'm totally not seeing it in the actual footage when reviewing it on a full screen on my computer afterwards. That's where we can see the more. So this is in high quality, full frame. Let's see, do you see any more on the wooden block? I'm going to do an autofocus rack. There you go. Block. I'm going to do an autofocus rack. There you go. Now the areas to pay particular attention to are not only the roof tiles of these buildings but also the brickwork. Here as I said I'm shooting it in the flat profile where the sharpening is down very low. Later on I'll show you once I've added extra contrast and sharpening and you do definitely see a difference. However the places you want to look at are definitely these red bricks here on this part of the building and the roof tiles over here. Same on the buildings over there. Okay. Now the test is exactly the same, but we're shooting at 25 frames a second to see if there's any difference in the Mori pattern on the roof buildings there. Again, on the back of the LCD screen of my camera, it definitely looks like there's Mori. However, when viewing it full screen and in my editing software, I'm not seeing any examples of it at all is absolutely astonishing quality and also there doesn't seem to be any difference whether I'm shooting at 60, 30 or 24 frames a second. Over there definitely on the back of the screen it looks like there is more going on. Handheld. And the final one this is 24 frames a second full HD full frame is there any difference at high quality? Is there any difference in effects of Mori? Especially if I tilt the camera. I can definitely see it on the back of the screen there. Same if I tilt the camera. This way as well. Okay, now let's go to DX Crop. Okay, DX Crop, I'm just shooting at 60 frames a second because it's the smoothest. This will obviously all be outputted at 30 frames a second. Now with it in DX mode, I am even more impressed. There's just absolutely no sign of aliasing going on in this image. When you zoom in, it's absolutely astonishing. When you stop the video, it's astonishing. If you're compressing this video, you may see the aliasing lines whenever you rotate the camera. That's why I'm doing that. But otherwise, it's fantastic. Good morning. Not, not too bad. What about the over there? Can we even see it on any of the buildings. 
Now I'm going to show you exactly the same footage, but this time in Final Cut Pro I've added some contrast, some saturation and most importantly sharpening. And we'll have a look and we'll freeze frame as well because certainly when I exported this to YouTube earlier I noticed a lot of Mori patterns, however in the actual screen if you look at it uh, frame by frame yeah, it's, a it's a different matter. Contrast setting here. So on YouTube certainly the tiles of these buildings here looked like they were going crazy like they're having their own little party and they looked e like as I went further along to these buildings it looked absolutely mental and um, so again this only really works if you're watching it in full 1080p and the aliasing is far far less almost non-existent. Checking out the Mori patterns, so she's in an F8, a hundredth of a second, 64. In fact, here is a screen grab that I got off of YouTube. It may be that it just hadn't processed fast enough, but this is what I see as terrible Mori. If you look at the weird stripey patterns that we're getting on the tiles there. Frames a second, um, at looks like the ISO 64. If we look at the roofs. The in the end, after reviewing the this video and also seeing it after it's been uploaded to YouTube, as long as you're watching the video in full 1080 on a screen which can show it, like a, a proper screen which has that amount of resolution, I am absolutely astonished by the quality of the Nikon D810 in how well it's able to resolve video without any aliasing. It is fantastic. I haven't seen what it's like if you downsample it down to 720, but if you're uploading at 1080 and putting it out on YouTube at 1080, it is brilliant. It's what I would consider one of the best cameras. Even though it's got the optical uh, low-pass filter completely removed, in video, the quality is the best I've seen out of any of the cameras that I've used. Zero aliasing when viewed correctly. So I fully recommend the Nikon D810 if doing high quality video and you're worried about aliasing. Hope that helps. Bye bye.